You were supposed to kill Michael. What does that mean? I was being blackmailed. This is murder, Luke. How did you get involved with murder? Fanny, it started a long time ago. When I lost you and the baby, I was broke and I was bitter. And somebody came to me with a job offer. Illegal? Yes. Why? Tell me because why. Because it paid well. Very well. And at that time, I just never wanted to be poor again. Oh, so that's your excuse? You didn't want to be poor again? Yeah. The money was easy, real easy, as long as you didn't ask too many questions or value your life. I don't believe you're saying this to me. Well, it was a lot easier getting in than it was getting out. What exactly did you do for these people? I think the less you know about that, the better. The important part is that I was trying to get away from them for good. Oh, and that was hard. I guess it was hard because I knew, I knew too much. They wanted to get something on me, so I, so I wouldn't talk. So they told you to kill Michael. That's right. He was on to their operation. Killing Michael. My price for freedom. My God, Luke. Fanny, it was, it was the... It was gonna be my last assignment. Oh. This is a man's life we're talking about here. This is a good man. A man with children, a friend of mine. How can you talk about it in such a cold way? I don't understand you. Of course you don't understand. Somebody like you couldn't understand this. I defended you in this town when everybody said I was insane. But you know why? Because I believed in you. Because I, I knew who you were. I believed you when you said that you loved our daughter. That was real, Fanny. This is crazy, Luke. Don't you know that? Don't you understand? Look, I tried to turn down the assignment, but they said to me that if, 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 I, if I didn't do the hit, I would never find our daughter. Do you understand now? Oh, my God, are you saying to me? Are you saying to me that these people have our daughter? No, I don't know. I, don't know. I, I couldn't take that chance, could I? They could be bluffing, but I don't know. You mean she could be hurt or worse? Look, look, Michael's, Michael's group blew those people out of the water. The last thing on their mind should be our daughter. So they could be holding her someplace. Yeah, but, but they're looking for her. And if anybody, anybody can find her, it's going to be Michael's people. They'll protect her. So Don't that's... you see what I was up against? Don't you see? That's why you went to Michael's box. Because you were protecting our daughter. Yes. Oh, my God, dear. I couldn't kill Michael Hudson. Tell me what happened, Luke. I saw Griffin. He was pointing a gun at Michael. Then I realized he was my backup. He was there to finish the job if I failed. And maybe to finish me off, too, as well. So you fired? Yes, it was either he or Michael. And you chose Griffin? Yes. But I want you to know something. I am not a murderer. At least you saved Michael's life. Yeah. Well, let's hope that the cops and Michael see it that way. You could still go to prison, couldn't you? Oh, Fanny, I don't care about that. I just care about what you think. I don't want you to hate me. Donna, please, I'm not a stranger. I never, ever stopped loving you. No. You just never trusted me. But, but I, I had no choice. You were safer not knowing the truth. This organization was an enormous part of your life, and I never knew anything about it. That's true, but it's over now. Why? Because you say it's over, just like you said our marriage was over, and now it's on just because you say so? And you say that none of it is true? Well, I'll tell you what is true, Michael, what I went through. That was real! All right, look, I'm sorry. I, I'm so sorry it was so rough on you, all right? I, how do you think I felt? I mean, I felt just awful. I couldn't be here with you. Why? Were you in agony not knowing why our marriage had ended? Did you cry yourself to sleep every night imagining me making love to somebody else? Did I humiliate you in front of our friends and family? It had to look real. Well, it did look real. And I'll tell you what else is real is that this whole marriage is a lie. No, that's not true. Please don't say that. This marriage is not a lie. I've never, ever stopped loving you, Donna. I've been true to our marriage vows. I'll... Michael! Michael! I'm sorry your little affair didn't work out, but at least have the decency to admit it instead of spinning this spy yarn. But it's the truth. Oh, now this is the truth. This is the truth. Donna, don't shut me out. 
If I'm shutting you out, it's because I learned it from an expert. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get dressed. Please, no. We can, we can begin again. We can start over. I have, Michael, without you. With Jake? Get out of here, Michael. I have to get dressed. Please. Please, not now. I mean, they can't wait. This no, is No, it important. can't wait. My life has changed since you left. Michael, you can't waltz back in here and, and pretend that everything is just the same as it was. That's all I've wanted. That's all I've thought about. I... Well, sometimes you can't have what you want, Michael. Is that it? Is that it? That's it. I, I'm not going to go. Fine, stay. I'll go. I have to go to work soon anyhow. It looks like we're going to have to come up with an alternate plan. Like break in? It might be the only way. Why don't I try to get an injunction? We still have an hour. Okay, you people can relax now. My men just finished their inspection. The building is empty. They don't have any stake in this. I want to see for myself. Hold it. Nobody goes in there except my men. We've got live charges set up in there. If you just give me 15 minutes. I can't do that. Now, everybody's got to clear this area in less than half an hour. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. I see your point. Good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a job to do. Sure thing. So what, are you giving up? No way. But that approach was obviously futile. We're going to have to sneak in. In the meantime, Stace, why don't you work on that injunction? Okay, I will. Now, don't worry. I will get somebody to listen to me. Goodbye. Good luck. Be careful. Good luck. Bye. Okay, so what's the plan? What, we got to go in? What, in there? This way? Well, we could do it, but it would be kind of a... obvious, wouldn't it? Hold up. I can give some kind of distraction for those watchdogs. Now, there's a great idea. And then we can slip in while you're creating a diversion. No problem. Make it convincing, all right? Okay. Listen, guys, I'm going to go to the court with Stacy and uh, work on that injunction. We'll be back as soon as we can. Excuse me. Hey, just keep stealing your stuff, hey! Maybe you were involved in something, something unethical, but I had no idea it was this. Fanny, I didn't want you to know. You were the only, only person I ever loved. You were the only thing that ever mattered to me. It's too bad, isn't it, that you couldn't trust me. It's too bad that I didn't matter enough to tell me the truth. How could I involve you in I this? I am involved. And so is our daughter. Well, he's dead all right, Lucas. Now it's murder. It's made quite a story. Seems as though Griffin had a second job. Dealing in drugs. A little stolen art. He wasn't working alone, was he, Lucas? I'm glad you're here. Well, have you finished talking? Yes. I'd like to go home. Are you all right? I'm just very tired. You're in this deep. I want you to stay away from Fanny. I hope that's clear. Did he explain everything to you? He tried to. You know he's lying to you. No, not this time. What do you mean, not this time? Can't you accept that? The man is a criminal. Can't you understand? Look, I want you to stay away from him, Felicia. You read this? Yes, I read it. In fact, I learnt more from the paper than I did from you. I was... Why is it that... Why is it that you share all the most important things in your life with her? It's not that way. Isn't it? You would talk to Felicia, you wouldn't talk to me. Because it was personal, it was about our child. Isn't it always? That's not the point. Do you know that in all the times we've been together, you have never once told me that you love me? I know, I know. <laughs> well, I'm glad you noticed. I'm glad I wasn't the only one. I suppose it's my way of protecting you. From what? From me. You're better off without me. Why? Don't you know I care about you? 
You say you do. I'm here, aren't I? Yeah, and Iris, I don't understand why. That's just because, in your eyes, you're still this little kid from Gold Street. Whereas you're a brilliant man who's made a life for himself, who's made me... Well, help me realize my dreams. <laughs> Watching a magazine, is that important to you? No, Lucas, that's not what it's about. We're alike, you and I. We're hungry, we go out for what we want. Okay, we're outsiders and we're always going to have people gunning for us, but at least we understand that about each other. Maybe. I still think you should get away from me. <gasps> Do you? Yes. Well, I don't. But I am going to let you rest tonight before the police talk to you again. That you wanted to talk. Oh, we'll talk. But I know you had very good reasons for what you did tonight. And we will get through this together. Good night. Mm. Found these lights. I was almost out of matches. Well, there's not much stuff left down here. You sure you haven't checked this area before? No. It does all look pretty much the same, doesn't it? But let's go over it anyway. Absolutely nothing. You want to check the backstage area again? Griffin wouldn't have left her any place obvious like that, no matter what shape she was what? in. You mean that you think that she's I don't already... know. He's done it before. I keep seeing Catherine March's body floating by the docks. Cass, Frankie's pretty feisty. She'd be one tough lady to kill. Yeah, well, feisty isn't much good up against a professional killer. What time is it anyway? Until eight. Great. Unless Stacy got to a judge, we're almost out of time. Well, what do you want to do? Let's go back upstairs. <sighs> Wait a second. What's this? Hey! It's one of Frankie's bracelets. Well, then she's got to be down here. Gas. What? Don't mind, you said you'd be here. No, no, it's fine. Come on in. Uh, Michael, there are some pretty big gaps in your story. I think you know that. I was about telling me what really happened with Lucas last night. I'm sorry, I, I really can't comment on the operation right now. Oh, well, man has been killed on my turf. I know that. And Lucas is walking around scot free on your say so. I need details. You'll get them. When? I got a commissioner to answer to. Fine, well, then tell your commissioner to talk to the club, okay? <sighs> I'm not going to let this drop, Michael. I can't. Fine. Do what you have to do, okay? I really don't give a damn what you do, all right? Calm down, I'm through Michael. with the commissioner. I'm through with the club. All you people. Is that clear? I'm Just through. Calm. No, you calm down, all right? Your life isn't in pieces. Hello, Courtney. Hello. Um, I had to ask Michael some questions about the shooting last night. The shooting? Didn't he tell you? No, but I'm used to that. Perhaps she, we should continue us down at the station. That'd be fine. Thank you. Sorry to bother you, Donna. Didn't. 
Hi. Hi. Gone? Yes, finally. You have to read this. Griffin Sanders is dead. Lucas shot him. What? They say he fired to save Michael. Maybe what he told me was true. What, Donna? What did he tell you? He said that he only pretended to leave me, that there was never another woman, and he was involved with some undercover government agency, and that if he stayed here, that I would be a target. Are you serious? That's what he said. I can't believe this. Do you believe him? I don't know what to believe. He said that Lucas was involved with drug smugglers and art thieves. So Michael's an agent. He never told me any of this, and now he's expecting me to believe everything. All right, all right. Listen, just give it some time. The truth will come out. I don't want to give it any time. I want to get back to work, and I want to forget about the whole thing. I want to forget about all of it. Now you think Frankie could be in there? It's possible. The opening is big enough. The grid is down. I can't see anything. Frankie! Frank! Frankie! Frankie! Cat? Cat, it's me! I'm in here! Help me! Oh. I hear something. I don't believe it. She's in there. Frankie! Frankie! Winthrop and Edwards. We're trying to get a court order to stop the blasting, okay? Yeah, well, it's too late. You got two minutes. Oh, I got it. I got the injunction against the city for 24 yes. hours. Oh, this looks real. Yeah, until a thorough search has been made. Sam. Sam, shut it down. Yeah. Sammy, it's a no-go. Okay, everybody, shut it down. We got a court order here. What's going on? Sam, what's going on? Hey, what? They shouldn't be. They should be out there by now. What? My Sam. brother is in there. Sammy, come in. Sam, come in. Shut what's it down. On? Shut down the operation. What is it? Sam, what's wrong? In. My walkie-talkie's got a short circuit in it. What? I can't get in touch with my demolition. Yeah! Man. 